In the Old West, bullets from firearms typically traveled at speeds ranging from 600 to 2200 feet per second, or even higher. If we assume a bullet traveling at 900 feet per second, it would take approximately 1 30th of a second to cover a distance of 30 feet. At that speed, dodging a bullet was nearly impossible. Taking this into account, we'll discover in a kind of scientific way what it took to win an Old West duel, with probably the most important key at the end of the video. Draw speed and reaction time. In a duel, the time it takes for a person to draw their firearm and fire accurately is crucial. This process can be likened to the physics concept of reaction time. Human reaction time depends on various factors, including neural processing and muscle response times. The average human reaction time is approximately 200-300 milliseconds. However, with training, some people can reduce their reaction time to as low as 100 milliseconds. This difference of even a tenth of a second could be the deciding factor in a duel. Wild Bill Hickok was known for his incredible draw speed. He was said to be able to draw his pistol and fire in under 0.1 seconds. Aim and accuracy. The laws of projectile motion and ballistics come into play when aiming and firing a firearm. Accurate aiming requires a deep understanding of how gravity affects the trajectory of a bullet and how to compensate for it. The key factors to consider are the angle of the firearm, muzzle velocity, and the distance to the target. Marksmanship skills honed through practice and training are essential to ensure accurate shots. In the absence of air resistance, a bullet follows a parabolic trajectory. However, in the real world, air resistance causes the bullet to slow down and drop over time. This is why it is important to aim slightly higher than the target when shooting at long distances. The standard dueling distance in the Old West was 10 paces, or approximately 30 feet. At this distance, a skilled marksman could accurately hit a man-sized target with a pistol. Recoil management. Recoil, a physics phenomenon governed by Newton's third law of motion, action and reaction, can significantly impact a shooter's ability to maintain accuracy during and after a shot. Controlling recoil through proper stance, grip, and technique is essential to maintain control of the firearm. Recoil energy depends on factors like the mass of the bullet, powder charge, and firearm weight. Newton's third law states that for every action, bullet firing, there is an equal and opposite reaction recoil. The most popular dueling pistols in the Old West were single-action revolvers, such as the Colt Single Action Army and the Remington Model 1873. These pistols were known for their powerful recoil, which could be difficult for untrained shooters to control. Environmental Factors Understanding and adapting to environmental conditions is critical in a duel. Factors like wind speed and direction can affect bullet trajectory, making it imperative to gauge and adjust for these variables. Additionally, factors such as temperature can influence the performance of gun poder, impacting bullet velocity and accuracy. The Coriolis effect caused by Earth's rotation can deflect bullets slightly over long distances, particularly at extreme latitudes. This effect is most pronounced at the equator and negligible at the poles. Duels were often held in dusty and windy conditions. This made it challenging to aim accurately as the wind could easily deflect a bullet. Duelists would often try to position themselves so that the wind was at their backs. Psychological control. Winning a duel isn't solely about physical prowess, but also about psychological control. Fear, stress, and adrenaline can affect a person's fine motor skills and decision-making abilities. Understanding the psychological aspects of combat, practicing mental discipline, and maintaining a calm and focused mindset are crucial elements for success. 
stress and anxiety can increase heart rate and decrease fine motor skills, affecting one's ability to aim accurately. This can be mitigated through techniques like controlled breathing, similar to how snipers use steady breathing to enhance accuracy. Many famous gunslingers were known for their cool and collected demeanor under pressure. This ability to remain calm and focused in a life-or-death situation was often the difference between winning and losing a duel. Now that you've discovered the science behind an Old West duel, it's time to talk about the OK Corral Showdown. The OK Corral Showdown, which occurred on October 26, 1881, in Tombstone, Arizona, was a brief but infamous gunfight involving lawman Wyatt Earp, his brothers Virgil and Morgan Earp, and their friend Doc Holliday on one side, and a group of outlaws, including Ike and Billy Clanton and Tom and Frank McClory, on the other. Just click to watch the OK Corral showdown as you've never seen it before.